is the 30 liter Peak Design travel bag, the smaller version of their very successful 40 liter travel bag, which is one of the best travel bags I've ever had the pleasure of using. However, I've always thought it was just a smidge too big for my personal taste as I'm someone that likes the 30 to 35 liter travel bag for carry on purposes, which this bag fits perfectly. Now I'm going to get into every nook, cranny, pocket function and feature on this bag. But first, I just want to say that this plus the accessories from Peak Design that I'm going to show you in this video, I bought with my own money. They did not send this to me. They did not pay for this review. Everything you're about to hear and see is my own personal opinion from using this bag on my travels and through my everyday usage. So with that being said, my name is Odie Matthews. If you like what you see here and you want more content around travel related products, like, subscribe. Let's get into it. So I know I'm a little bit behind on delivering this review and I apologize for that. I just wanted to make sure that I got plenty of use out of this bag to deliver the most authentic and genuine review on what I think of this bag. Now, I also have other accessories that I'm gonna show you in here. I'm really excited. If you want to, I've already done a review on the Peak Design Tote Pack. I will throw a card up here for you. That is a great hybrid camera slash everyday carry bag that I've absolutely enjoyed using. And this is no exception. This is the 30 liter travel bag and it is not only the perfect size, but for me personally, it is now my new favorite travel bag. I know it's a pretty big statement to say, especially when I've had this channel for over two years now and I've used dozens of travel bags, but I'm a sucker for a good 30 to 35 liter travel bag, like I said at the start. And I've always loved the 40 liter Peak Design travel bag, but it's just too big for me. 40 liters are always too big for me. So when it comes to 40 liter bags, I usually either get rid of them well, I usually just get rid of them. I give them to a friend. I give them out as, as you know, giveaways on the channel. So I got rid of the 40 liter Peak Design travel bag a while ago, and I've been missing it. I miss the features. I miss the function. I miss the style. I missed a lot of it about it, but it was just too big, and I didn't really want to buy another one. I apologize. I just looked it up. It's the 45 liter travel bag is the normal size, and this is the 30 liter. I apologize. I was going to get the specs for the material. I always thought it was 40 liters. My bad, 45 liters. Sorry for all the incorrect information I just spat out at you. So let's dive in to why I love the 30 liter travel bag so much. The hardware on this bag is also phenomenal. You got Hypalon zipper pulls, there are weather guard zips, they're double, like there's like these, they're not YKK zippers, they're like double ultra guard zippers. Just as good as YKK, I've said it before. YKK is a name brand that got there because they were the first ones to really like mass produce zippers. Yes, there's a difference between YKK and like shitty off brand, but overall, like YKK with like premium like zippers like this, like Monarch uses on their bags. They don't use YKK, but they're just as good because they just cut down on the cost a little bit. So sometimes finding a bag that doesn't have YKK zippers, but has just as good zippers that are cheaper, make the bag cheaper, which makes it pretty nice. And speaking of price, why I'm thinking of it, because it's, it's all over the place, the price tag on this bag is $230, which is pretty solid. $230 for a good, reliable, Honestly, probably one of the better in that area, 30 liter carry-on backpack travel bags that does as much as this with the components that this thing has is pretty solid. Okay, features on this bag. You have two external water bottle pockets, one of which I have put my James Coffee Company canteen in. I will say when this bag is fully packed out with the large packing cube and the camera cube that I have in here, these pockets get a little tight. Not ideal for transport while you're in transit trying to get your water bottle out, take a sip and put it back in. It was very, very tight until I started doing it a lot. And even then it was still a little bit more tight than I would prefer, but overall, not that bad. I've actually found myself traveling less and less with a water bottle. I don't know why. Typically, I just pick one up at the airport and I go with that. On the other end is where I've put this. This is the first accessory and I'm gonna come back to this later. It's the packable coat. Pretty solid and a great carry-on travel companion if you're using this bag or if you're using one that's larger and you need a daily carry item when you get there, you're not a fan of slings, you don't like packable backpacks, well guess what? Packable tote is about all you have left, uh, essentially. On the back here is the backpack straps and sternum straps with a nice breathable air channel. I found this bag to be just as comfortable as the 45 liter. On that video, when I did the 45 liter bag review, I got some flack, people saying that those straps are uncomfortable and I was crazy. I keep my bags traditionally towards the lighter side for that reason. So no matter what bag I'm using, it's always comfortable. Your mileage may vary depending on your size and how heavy you pack out your bag. If you pack out this bag and it's super, super, super duper heavy, yeah, it's probably gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. If you pack it out super light, it's probably gonna be a little bit more comfortable. So your mileage may vary. Just wanna point that out. 
but overall with the pot with the straps and the like handles on this bag i found it to be a very comfortable carry. Speaking of handles, you have one handle up here at the top, and then you have handles on both sides of the bag. Nothing, oh, you do have a little one. I always forget about the little one on the bottom. It's like a little, it's a little, little guy right here that is not terrible. I found it to be, uh, all the points of access on this bag are super convenient because no matter what you're doing, and what you're wearing, traditional G Fuel flying across the screen, uh, you have a place to grab, whether it's back of the taxi, you know, airplane, overhead compartment, train, bus, whatever, you've got plenty of access points to grab, rip and, rip and grip this bag, no matter what you're doing. On the front here, you can actually, and I don't have them on here, you can hook in some lash straps that connect down here at the bottom. This is a magnet, you hear that? You can actually strap things to the outside of this bag, crisscross, straight up and down, whatever you want. I typically don't do that with travel bags. Um, I took those off, I put them in my supply closet inside my bag of accessories. I was too lazy to dig them out for this video. Maybe I'll have some B-roll up on the screen if I decide to, or maybe I won't. Who knows? It's Editor Odie's game and I'm just here in the past. So before I dive into the pockets, I just wanna wrap up the outside of this bag. I'm kind of speeding through it because like I said, it's, it's, it's exactly like the 45 liter travel bag. These materials are great. They're comfortable. I like that they're weather resistant. I like that there's stuff that's stowable with magnets. I like that it has the last strap option. I like the sternum strap. I like the four points of access to grab and rip and grip this bag. I think it's super phenomenal. Overall, it's a very comfortable and easy to handle bag with phenomenal material and hardware to match. Okay, going into the pockets of this bag and showing you everything I have in here, the front compartment is quick access. Now, this quick access compartment is a little bit different than what I typically like because it's very much dependent on how much you have at the top of this bag because it definitely pushes up against it, which can result in less space in that quick access pocket. However, comma, I have found that this is a great spot to put just very basic items. Headphones, AirPod Pros, love them, can't be without them. I, my car keys, because if I'm traveling, I need to have keys to get back into my house when I'm done traveling. I also have recently started traveling with a stain stick pin because I am super paranoid about staining my clothes. If you saw my Cuts Clothing video, I will throw up a tab thingy in here. I got a brand new shirt and I stained it immediately and it was on a trip and I'm just really upset with myself. So now I carry a stain stick pin just in case. And honestly, that's all I have in here. Typically in transit, this is where I'd put snacks, boarding passes. Um, I don't, maybe my phone, depending on what I'm doing, because my phone acts as my wallet. I don't know where my, oh, it's right here. My Bellroy, I use the Bellroy three card case. Amazing, I will link everything you see down below, but the Bellroy three card case is phenomenal, especially for travel. If you don't wanna have to bring an extra wallet, bring a credit card and your ID, solid. Good to go, sign me up, cash, who needs it? Uh, probably me, everybody, because cash is king or something like that. But as terms of quick access compartment, this offers a lot more than what I'm utilizing it for. There is a zipper compartment up here with little spaces identical to what you get on almost every Peak Design bag. It is perfect for little camera accessories. What I love about Peak Design so very much is as someone who is a videographer and photographer that does a lot of travel, their bags are perfect for people like that because they have little things that they add to the bag that just makes it slightly easier. If I was full blown traveling, basing it around photography and camera, this offers a spot for me to put batteries, extra camera gear. These pockets are perfect for like ND filters, SD card cases, and things like that. You have three on the back of the bag, one in the middle, it's a little bit smaller, two on the sides that are slightly larger, and then in the zipper compartment, you have about four of those little like battery size little places to slot those and it is phenomenal. I love it. No matter how you decide to use this front pocket, it's great as quick access and it's great as an extra organization spot on the bag for camera gear. Okay, moving back on the bag, the next zipper you see here, the one that kind of like race cars around, that is that if you unzip it, it expands it to like 33 liters. I think the specific specs on this bag are like 27 unexpanded, 33 expanded or it's like 30 unexpanded 35 expanded in that 30 to 35 range expanded unexpanded kind of thing i never really no i didn't have to use the expansion on this because everything i needed fit but that extra expansion is really great if you're packing pouches flat pouches maybe an extra hoodie maybe extra clothing maybe extra gear whatever it might be so with that let's open up the main compartment 
If I can find the zippers, and that's what I love about this main compartment, by the way, is these zipper pulls and these zippers are massive. Love them. Love a big, massive zipper pull, zipper kind of thing. Opens up, again, just like the 45 liter. Again, the only difference is no divider in the middle of the main compartment that had those extra organization bits like on that back. Right here at the back is laptop compartment. Fits up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro and a 14 inch MacBook Pro. That's the specs I saw. I have an old school 13 inch MacBook Pro in here right now. Obviously 13 inch can fit in there fine. 13 inch fits everywhere. You also do have an additional laptop tablet divider. So you could put a tablet in here if you wanted. I personally don't rock a tablet when I travel because all I have is an iPad mini and the screen's cracked and I never use it. So that's the end of my story for that. But laptop compartment is super, super solid for one. Not only is it big enough to carry something like a 16 inch, which is phenomenal. Sorry, 17 inches, you're out of luck. But it's off the bottom of the bag. It's very padded, it's very well protected. I like that it adds a little bit of extra rigidity to the back when you're carrying this bag, just in a good spot. Solid laptop compartment, always has been. In the main compartment though, just like this, here's what it looks like. I have laying flat my tech pouch. This is my computer charger, phone charger, battery charger for my camera, uh, extra dongle chargers for maybe my action camera or my Pocket 2 or my wireless road mic. Every charger, every cable I need can fit in this little modern day fair tech pouch. It's easily one of my favorite tech pouches for travel. It's flat, fits everything I need, super, super solid. This is the Peak Design I guess it's a large packing cube. I think they call it their medium, but there's only two sizes. So this is like their larger packing cube and this is their small camera cube. One thing I wanted to point out and I went ahead and just threw like a, a big buffy jacket in here. This is the small packing cube. It is the same size as the small camera cube. You could fit both of these in here. So if you're like, oh, well, this is really, it seems like it's a camera travel bag because you got a camera cube in there. Where's all the packing cubes? Well, guess what? You can do both. If you didn't want to do camera travel, which is actually one of the ways that I end up using this, uh, time of recording, uh, I'm about to leave on another long weekend trip driving. I'm taking this back. I'm not bringing camera gear. I'm gonna take a break for bringing camera gear everywhere I go to get content. So this will be actually replaced with that. And that's how I typically run it. Big one on the top, small one on the bottom, usually because this one's lightly packed and that gives me a little bit more room in my quick access compartment. So there's a little, little trick. Little, little hack for you on this bag. So both these packing cubes are phenomenal. They're my go-to packing cubes all the time. Every bag without fail, love them to death. Talk about this camera cube here in a minute. I don't have anything in here right now uh, because my camera's right there and I can't have it in two places at once. But we'll talk about this with the Peak Design packable tote as soon as I'm done. Inside here, great, great camera cube. Whether you're looking for a camera cube for this bag or just in general, I really dig that one. It is it is really good. I'm really excited to tell you about it. I'm gonna take out this. This is my packing cube with enough clothes for the entirety of the trip. No matter what the length is, I can pretty much bring my uh, same same clothing load out. Why am I looking in here like, what else? what else is in here? Nothing, just the organization bits that I personally don't use. I didn't use them in the 45 liter, didn't use them here. It's not as much bits because like I said, there was that extra little divider, but you do have two flat compartments and then two side compartments that are, are good size. They're, they're, they're fine. They're, they're suitable. I tried playing around with putting like maybe like my underwear and socks in those or maybe extra little things. But honestly, I like to have everything in either a pouch or a packing cube. I typically don't utilize in any bag the extra space. The only thing that I would say I would potentially use for these side ones is if I had extra camera gear, charging equipment, stuff like that, that maybe I couldn't find a spot for. That's a pretty good space or maybe like something special or, or valuable or, or whatever. Maybe that'd be a good spot, but you do have the option for two additional internal organization pockets and two side organization pockets. I will just say be careful because again, this bag is already super tight. And if you're trying to avoid that expansion, putting things in there and using a packing cube and using a camera cube or just using two packing cubes can potentially push this bag to its limits. So just be wary of that. I haven't seen a lot of people point that out. If you utilize internal storage, you gotta be careful with how much extra external devices for storage you're putting in here because all that adds up a lot quicker than we realize in the packing process. So 
That's it. That's the whole bag. That's, that's it. There's not much to it. And I love it. It's great. Main compartment, quick access, boom. That's literally all I need. It's all I've ever wanted. This bag is phenomenal. It's great. It's a perfect size, made from great materials, great hardware. And I just, I really, really, really dig it. I really dig it a lot. Um, I'm also like super hyper right now. So I apologize if this video is all over the place, but I'm having a great time. So with that bag being covered, if you have any questions, comments, concerns on that, let me know down below, but let's talk about some of these extra accessories. Okay, this is the small camera cube. Also has a medium, also has a large. Medium takes up as much space as the large packing cube I saw. Large would take up the entirety of the inside of the bag. If you needed a bag just to transport camera gear, that is not a bad way to do it. One giant camera cube in one giant bag. So inside here you have flex fold dividers that have that same kind of like shelving system. This is perfect, you can fit a lot in here. I have a Sony a6400, I have a travel lens that's, um, I have a couple lenses that I use for travel. I have a 16, I have a 24, and I have an 18 to 135. Typically I bring my 18 to 135 when I travel because it covers a wide variety of stuff. Um, and that's typically all I really need. If I'm gonna do vlogging, I typically use my pocket too. That's a whole different story. I'll talk about that another time. This is great. I can fit my Sony a6400, my 18 to 135 lens. I can fix my wireless road go in here. I can also fit a variation, a smaller variation on my mobile filmmaking kit that has my DJI pocket too and my DJI Action 2. And that's everything I need for mobile, on the go, filmmaking, photography, whatever it might be. Right here on the side here, you can easily fit ND filters, maybe extra XD cards, extra batteries. It's a nice little built-in organization bit on a camera cube that I have never seen on a camera cube before. Now, I'm not saying that they're not out there on camera cubes, but in the camera cubes that I've used from certain companies like Wandered, Monarch, Mission Workshop, um, Shimoda, I haven't really seen a lot of internal organization, let alone on the smallest version they offer, which I think is really solid. That's typically where I put my variable ND filter because why not? It's a perfect spot for it. It's in my camera cube and that's in my camera cube is where I'm gonna be needing it because that's where my camera is and it just works. You can fit a lot of different stuff in here and it's a really good camera cube for those of us that don't need to bring a lot. I think it is a perfect size and I love that it takes up just enough space in the bag where I don't have to worry about trying to make extra space for it because I just throw my packing cube on top of it and I'm good. And for a lot of bags, I feel like it can be kind of hard to balance the camera cube with the packing cubes because sometimes bags aren't really made for both or they don't really accompany both unless it's the specific packing cube and camera cube brand that comes with the bag. And that's where the issue kind of comes in for me is that I like my Peep Design packing cubes. I also really like my Wander and Shimoda camera cubes. They don't always fit in bags together because they're not made for that. But luckily with this one, not saying I don't still love those other ones, but I do love that now I have specific ones that fit in the specific bag that I like. That's one thing to keep in mind. Camera Cube is phenomenal. I cannot recommend this Camera Cube enough. Let's talk about the packable tote as I try to unravel it. This is, like I said, if you want something to bring with you on a trip, but you don't want to bring a packable backpack or a sling or anything of that nature, this is solid. Also, if you're just looking for like a good tote bag, um, I know it's a little weird, but like a lot of my tote bags that I don't use that I've gotten end up becoming like reusable grocery bags when I go to the grocery store. Um, not saying that this is what this one should be or will be, but I'm just saying that this is a really good packable addition. It's made from good materials, it's strong, it has a strap right here that is overall pretty solid. You're not gonna be able to adjust this to like swing it over the shoulder, but you definitely can carry it tote bag style. I like that they even went ahead and put their normal Peak Design logo on here with that nice leathery accent. It is made from really good materials, like I said, and it packs away super nice. You can either pack it away into the little compartment thing, or you can just do what I typically do with packable stuff and just lay it flat in the bag as is, because typically nine out of 10 times, that's gonna take up less space than putting it in this little packable thing, which the nice thing about this is the packable pocket that it fits in becomes an extra little space for like keys or something inside your packable tote. But overall, what it's supposed to be is you then can pack this away into itself and I guess you could find a spot in the bag. Like I said, I, I kind of put it in that uh, little water bottle pocket spot. Um, again, it kind of depends on what you prefer. I personally like my way, but you can put it back in this mode, kind of. It's not the easiest, but then again, 
I'm not super great at this kind of stuff. And then it can go, like this is almost like keychain size. Like it's super small, super cute, super tiny. Love it, super duper, duper. Not a lot to say on the packable tote, but I just wanted to throw it out there because I thought it was a really cool little accessory and I hadn't seen anything packable from Peak Design yet, or I hadn't gotten my hands on anything rather. And I thought this was a good way to, to show you something a little additional. So if you like totes, you like packable stuff, solid, super solid, can't go wrong. So with all of that on the 30 liter Peak Design travel bag, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comments below about anything you've seen in this video, whether it's the main topic or just something I pulled out that you had questions about. Um, thank you guys again for all the love and support. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that nonsense. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.